Society Podcast, episode 5252 right. in the building. You already know, man. I'm your host, B-High. Mm-hmm. You got the host, mm-hmm. Queasy's Way in the building. Mm-hmm. We got our other host, Sash24, in the building. And you already know how we doing, man. It's Hot Society Podcast, man. How y'all mm-hmm. fellas been this week? That's mm-hmm. some crazy shit going on. But how y'all been, man? Word, man. <laughs> I've been going through some wild Trying to survive man. in this white man's world, man. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, all man. I've been trying to do out here, man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. You feel me? Yeah, man, this this these times then brought me to meditation, man. I'm meditating now, a a day, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, it kind of balanced out. Where you meditate at? Um, so I position myself on the floor on the pillows. Um, I I usually do it uh, sunrise. You do it in the house though. Yeah, sunrise. I open up all the blinds so I get the sun rays on me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then I just go in. You know what I mean? I do it before um, when I wake up in the morning and before I go to sleep. How long? Mm-hmm. How long you got to Like how? How long is the ideal meditation time? Like, so I looked minutes? that up too. I looked that up. I thought it was gonna be some drastic time, like forty at five minutes. Yeah. Yo, it's literally ten minutes. Yeah. yeah, literally ten minutes. You could do it. You know what I mean? Let me try. Y'all gave me a method. I thought you just sit there and just be quiet and mm-hmm. just try to like zone nah. out. Like you gonna fall have some random thoughts bit. and shit. You gonna you ain't gonna be able to be like like, I'm like that shit ain't gonna work. You yeah. gotta be able to just like hear your thought, hear your hear the, hear the sounds and shit. And, just, and well, sometimes I yourself. put on um like rain, like like rain sounds. Um, me out. You know what I mean? Or something just real relaxing, real real, real, real real relaxing. You know real what I'm relaxing, saying? Relaxing, I get you. Yeah, yeah. That should have put me out if I fuck around, and put some rain. <laughs> that but see, that's a, then it, it did its justice though. Yeah, you right, right you right. right. I guess. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, what's going on, man? Yo, this is a lot of wild shit. We all want to start, man. I want to start with. Matter of fact, let's start with nothing but respect, man. Respect to Breonna Taylor. Rest in peace to mm-hmm. Breonna Taylor. Right. And uh, Definitely. so sorry, you know what my man. Sister. Condolences to her family. So sorry. You know, mm-hmm. but like we knew that actually you knew that that this exact verdict would would, would play out this he way. Definitely did. He definitely you know what I mean? That. And um. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's, right. it's no real, I mean. no real surprise, but like we got some new facts. Like I thought that I actually believe through the media. See, this is why the media is dangerous, right? We got guys like uh, Charles Barkley, yep. and they give false information and, and half the facts on national on TV. That's not an accident, by the way, neither. Is yeah, you're right. You absolutely not right. It's not an accident. But see, it's what happens is when you start the. Around. Is that yeah? And mm-hmm. when you start to and when you get your information oh, through these people, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> when, when you get, Benjamin Crumbs. <laughs> when, when you get your information through these people, what happens is sometimes you have misinformation, Absolute. and you won't even know the real story because you'll be you'll be getting it through secondhand information. You feel me? So, yeah. like I thought that Brianna Taylor's boyfriend shot at the police, like actually, but that's not what happened. They say he shot at the floor, like as a warning shot type of <clears> thing. <throat> yeah. Only one shot, actually. Yeah, it ricocheted. And um, I think that's one of the reasons why one of the officers got injured, in in a sense. But he didn't purposely. I was karma, though. He I didn't was like, purposely. I was like, Ogun, as they say. Like, he, yeah. you know, like, like get yeah. one of these motherfuckers. One of these motherfuckers going to feel it. Like, but, yeah. He purposely didn't shoot at him. But they, my thing is they, they break so many rules and so many laws, and they didn't follow the book. And they they did so many things wrong in any other job in the, in the world. Like somebody got to be held accountable for mistakes. Definitely mm-hmm. do. But Definitely it seems it seems like that. You know what I mean? Like it seems like they not being held. Well, they not being held accountable mm-hmm. for mistakes. Because nah, you know, police killing like um killing black people is not a crime. Shit, technically like that. It's only like I mean. Yeah, and we could and technicality then, like I mean. And then we just start looking at it like maybe. Like I think sometimes we look at it wrong. Like maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe this is what what they planned to do. Yeah. Maybe everything went exactly according to plan. When you think about it, you feel me? Maybe that's how this shit went, man. This shit is crazy though, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's not ironic that you know I was just telling you guys that um, in 2020, it's only been 12 days 
that a black person has not been like murdered by the police officer. So in like, the United States, that's twelve like, days. That's we not even free. two weeks. That's that not even like two weeks. Almost two months left in a year. <laughs> So that's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? Nah, not at all. It's like it's shit is crazy. Like man, you got the um. Now they gave it. They gave her family what like twelve million dollar settlement, which is not, nothing. What's Benjamin Crump net worth? I don't know. He Benjamin got a lot Crump. of. He got a lot of lawyers. Uh, what's lawyer get like thirty three percent on the settlements and shit like that? He got a lot of uh, like look look look. He got a bag. I know he got to have a bag. Yo. Did you it. see the? Did you see the the uh? I think he's an attorney general or something. The black guy from down there in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy with no lips and shit. They like always that. they always get a black dude, a black face to go do their dirty work and shit like that. You feel me? Like that guy is just a disgrace to uh to the black community. Absolutely. You're you're a complete disgrace. Definitely. I don't believe. Yeah. I don't even think he like he's not a he's not a black guy. Bro. Yeah. This guy. I'm, did you see his picture? No, I didn't see his picture, but he I doesn't definitely have heard a mustache. You can't trust. I told you this before. You can't trust men who shave their mustache off. Like if you can't <laughs> grow it, that's a different story. But if you uh, if you can grow a mustache and you choose to shave, to shave it off, uh, especially as a, as a, as a, a black man, if you choose to shave shave your mustache off, I'm looking at you kind of weird, bro. Uh, yeah, like yeah. Real talk. Uh, I'm looking at you kind of weird, bro. <laughs> this is the guy we put our. This is the guy we gotta put our faith in. To uh, actually, instead of arresting the cops, he went and, and got married during that time of the trial and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, they just, don't get. But look, you know what's crazy? Like, why they always every time they gotta do some controversial decision? I know that they know it's gonna be just some racist white shit, white supremacy shit. Should I say? Like, why they always put a black face on it? Like, remember the, uh, the FBI when they did the uh, Saudi court? They raised up better ten million dollars. The same shit they did Osama bin Laden. Yeah. They put a black uh, FBI agent out there to do the, uh, to speak about it. They like, just elected him to be the um, the yeah, leader yeah, or some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, because they trying to they trying Acting to make it seem like they yeah. trying to make it seem like he's trying to discredit the voices that's out yeah. there. You feel me? You got all it's, the voices. Oh, it's not racism. Look, he's a we got a black FBI agent. Exactly. It's not that. Like you yeah. you try to discredit the the uproar of voices that's outside them courthouses protesting and all yeah. that. You feel me? You you get this guy to get up here and he 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 sort of uh he sort of neutralizes. That was going on, you feel me? In a, in a way, to some people, you feel me. But another thing I got a problem with, like the pandering for the vote. Like I Disgusting. know some people. Everybody got their own opinions on mm. on whether you who you should vote for, if you should vote or not vote. But like they got commercials now with showing like the protests and and at the end of the commercials like you if you watch just the first half of the commercial you'll think it's just about the the protests and, and stuff that's going on and injustices but then at the the second half of the of the uh it, the, the punchline is is basically to get you to go vote yeah yeah it, it's it's terrible man it's terrible out here but bro. but my thing is like i right, we telling people to go vote right but we not nobody else does like i don't understand why these some of our black leaders who are out here is sitting here telling us to go vote without giving us like how and why to go vote. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody else does that. Like literally, nobody. Mm -hmm. The police vote as as one. You know what I mean? White people they got is in America they they the majority the majority so they don't really have to vote as one. They they could vote within their communities like Italians, uh, Irish. The police, you know what I mean? They they could vote like that, but they still vote as a block. Yeah. The Chinese community vote as a block. Everybody else vote as one. Whatever we got our list of issues, whoever gonna take care of these issues, that's who we voting for. Yeah. It's not out of emotion or who you like or who you don't like or who talks the best, who looks the best. That's what we voting out of right now. All right, popularity, Pure emotion. Kind of, popularity yeah. emotion, what's going on? Because you, know you don't like Trump, you're gonna automatically go vote for Joe Biden um, blindly. And they disrespectful as hell, man. Anybody that vote for you black, you still vote for the Democrat, but either like you like being like somebody spit. It's like you like somebody spit in your face publicly, and you just sitting there just accepting it, mm -hmm. and still support, hang and hang out with them and everything like that. And when the end of the night, when y'all finish, you gonna spit in your face again, like. That's what it was. Look, look at Roland Martin talking about he's showing the, um, we up here got all this shit we got going on in, in, the, in the black community. You got Roland Martin up here trying to teach Hillary Clinton how to do the whip in the name and shit. Like, like you seen that shit though, son? Yeah, that, that shit, like you a clown, bro. That's, it's clown. A lot That's of why you don't take us serious, though, it's bro. So, so much son. confusion out here. And then you got, you know, you still got the black people, right? 
right? Look, they, they you still paid. got you still got the black people that once Trump came on and he said. I'm gonna the platinum plan. You heard about that? Mm. He yeah, said, "Oh, the that. platinum plan. We, I'm gonna make a, a a contract with the black people, and we're gonna fund 500 million dollars and create three million jobs for the black community and all this stuff." Now you got the black people like Trump. Thank you, man. That sound good. It's giving yeah. me a vision. It's giving me mm. a way out. Like what? But, see, like, but what I'm saying, keep it honest with you. I ain't never heard no other president say that though. Me neither, neither but I yeah, but I was just about to say that yeah. but but no other president have actually you right no other pl- I'm talking president everything, has everything actually directed they, it I'm to, talking about directly they is everything been been benign and neglect because that's the literally policy with black people like they yeah don't, no but think how he's setting it up him like, look how he's setting it up in conversation but, he said if you don't vote for me in four and well we not get but within four years I can do this but if you don't get me in office this is not happening yeah he, he Trump 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 is Trump, Trump lying his business deals all the time all the time the uh, yeah but like my thing yeah. is every every president has done it. But see, what people don't understand is they look at minority. They, they use the word minority as a, as a trick, and, right. and, and, and a lot of black people mind when they hear minority, they think they talking about them. Black and Spanish people, mm-hmm. I mean, white women. They not. Mm-mm. They Every not just. Talk, it's not just about you. That's when I say, when I ask somebody, yo, what, what has Obama done for black people? Then they say, oh, Obama care. I say, no. What has he done just for black people? That's just all I want to know. One thing, nobody nobody I ever asked that can answer that question for me. You know what I would say he did for me? He taught he kind of taught me how to deal with racism as a president. Cuz it's going to happen. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's going to happen like you you should have seen how certain things like people they will put, you know, the hand on the back, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like certain well, parts that's something you took from him. Not yeah. something yeah. he necessarily gave you. So that's yeah. what I would say I took from him. Like, yeah. as far as he showed me, all right, it's still racism there, but this is how you handle it. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I mean, you could take something from anybody. You don't even got to yeah. like them. Like, right. you could take like, a quality you, you, you from somebody. You know Herman Cain and shit? No, nah. yeah, nah. old, old, old Uncle Tom, old Negro, old Negro. Like, <laughs> like, Herman, you know Herman. That name like Herman. Herman. Like, Herman. Rest in peace. He died though, but he was an uncle on some house nigga shit. But your man was like a good ass businessman though, like no yeah. bullshit yeah. though. Like, See, you, you feel take me, something from him. You probably Don don't King like him. too. Don King, Don kind of like a little coonish a little bit, like oh, my man. Yeah. But, he, yeah. but he's still but flags. A, a hell of a businessman though, like you feel me? Yeah, yeah. you could take yeah. you could take qualities from. He's sitting there waving the flags. He killing me with that shit. <laughs> Dom, Dom hustling though. Dom don't give a fuck about the yeah, man. Dom yeah. Let me give a Dom a good deal on the man. He's selling that shit like. <laughs> but like they, that, that's what they do. <laughs> like presidents when they when they got for election, they start promising you all type of shit. All like, type of shit. You feel me? Like, but I, I never really, I, I have yet to see some of them things materialize. Like, but I can't say that's the first time I heard. Did he actually say? For black people, like he yeah, actually he used, said used he, those words. He used those words. He used black, black yeah, uh, that, a, a black contract. And he also used, um, you know, this is a big one. He said black churches. We will start um, getting uh, federal funded. Like, you know what I mean? And then, you know, that's big yeah, right there. Cause, he said, you know, you niggas love Hallelujah. No, you know what I mean? So, you know, exactly. So, you can see the, the how he's 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 aiming at that. And I'm just like sitting here like, wow, he's selling us like like a car salesman. You know what I mean? I think he's going to win again. I think so, too. But, I will, but, what, but keep it 100 with you. Trayvon Martin died under Obama. Yeah. The boy Tamir Rice died I think, under Obama. Yeah. Like, what's nothing's changing? No, nope. it's like what you gonna nope. catch hell with? Mother, who's in that office? Yeah. Like, so what you like? You let them the Democrat for the, let them keep them good doing. Um, promise you all this bullshit, scare you with them, and let you still live in, in some crazy shit though. Like, yeah, and like they Trump, Trump, Trump you, you, I, I don't like. I, I don't like Trump. I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm supporting him, but I, I just like his, his brutal honesty though. Like, we be saying some real shit. He said, man, your schools ain't shit. He like your your uh, your, uh, your, your your unemployment highs or highs. I don't know what like your mass incarceration. What the fuck do y'all got to lose? Uh, yeah, you're right. Cause like I'd rather my thing is like even though like you know, I'm not, I still don't I, I, I shouldn't vote you vote for your ass just cause you feel like Yeah, like, you, like what I got to lose yeah, and shit. Yeah, like the fuck out of that, yeah, that yeah. don't mean nothing. But, but you're like, telling like it is though. But my he, thing is, the truth, though. My thing is with, with with Trump, I don't support Trump either. I'm not gonna vote for Trump or none of that. But what I'm saying is mm-hmm. I think that his honesty to me is better than anybody. Like it I appreciate right. that more than any other president because I, I like to know you don't like me. Exactly. Like, yeah. like I, I don't want to. I don't want to be like you. Feel me? Thinking this guy's for me the whole time. I'm yeah. holding up hope and shit like right. that. And then the, at, the, at the end, you just be like, man, fuck you. Like you feel me? And then mm-hmm. you sit there for eight years supporting this man, and he just done nothing for you. Yeah. I, yeah. 
I got, I got Obama so hope, man. I got a good question for y'all, both of y'all. How y'all feel about segregation right now? Like, say right now, you be like, yo, you be like, yo, how about we just all do all this racist shit going on? How about we just go back to segregation? Now, when you say segregation, we talk because we it's not just black and white people. You know what I mean, we got Hispanics, we got uh, this just say I, I how it was back in the day. How it was back in the day. Let's go. Like, you know what I mean, all right. Well, let's say let's say uh, do do uh, people from like West Indies and people from the islands and stuff. Uh, obviously, be on on that's our a, side. That's a good question. I don't even think about white and black. I never think about like what the Indians is pack, the pack, like where they go at. Like you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is like, yeah, because you know, what I mean, America now has has is a melting pot. Now it's not Definitely. just black and white people. So, right. but if we if we saying like uh, all them people are on our side, yeah, I'm for it. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I'm for it. The reason why I say that is because I believe like we we could build our own and then trade and. And become actually partners and, and and like real partners. Like like I have something for you, you have something for me. You know what I mean? Like like a real independent country type of thing. Like that's why I don't think they will ever go back to that. Cause but like I don't think that it ever. Ha- I don't think it would happen simply because a lot of a lot of our own people, sad to say, don't don't want to sacrifice. What the um the uh that comes with a sacrifice. What uh, segregation? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, I'm keeping it honest with you. We ain't, we we ain't never did better that best in Mississippi in segregation, man. You know how much shit we lost in, in segregation, though. Yeah, but I'm we talking. About we, we we didn't. We mind you, at the slave, we oh, had all we, the, doing, we was doing better during segregation. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about economic, I'm talking about, like economic. I'm talking about you had. I'm talking about like at the slave, we black people at the slaves just had all the skills and all the knowledge. They knew how to do everything like though. So like by the time they had to build on their own and shit, it was easy for them. Like, yeah, but because me? that's because they went from slavery to 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 that. To segregation. Yeah. Now we're going from integration back to segregation, which is a different transition. Now you got these people, you got black people who are who are uh in in corporate world, they uh yeah. doctors, you got black people who drive Mercedes Benzes, yeah. you yeah. got black people who yeah. live in these 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 uh nice high rise condos. That was the same as back who, then too. Who work with no but like these, like we integrated with with these people now, like in mm-hmm. in a major way, like we. Mm-hmm. But you, I'm talking about, but the way you shit integrated though, son, it's like you just like it's like as a it's like a, we like the lowest society, like and they like the dominant society. Like I get yeah. that, yeah. I, yeah. honestly, because like, it's, like, it's made like that. It's made for that. Niggas just pick one of us out the crowd, like man, it was Tuesday. You know what, man, this nigga right here, <laughs> you the one today. This is your time of day, nigga. I get me? that, but my thing is like I want to look at it like on a day to day, like how how would that affect your day to day life, like mm. like if it was to change instantly, like. Mm. Like, do, do that mean we can't drive European cars? Nah, I don't think that. Nah, like, man, like what does that, this I'm mean? talking about. Nah, I'm talking about just be just like do you could do you could you could indulge in everything else because like it's like it's life, it's life like enjoy life like which it's like they got good cars away in Europe get a car from Europe like so be it. Mm. Like, now, you, pay, like, you, feel me? you should be able to make now, your own car too though. If it now was segregation when, when us sense. as black right. people get jammed up right now that's gonna be a hellhole. Because of segregation, right? Because now if we get jammed up, any type of trouble, any type of thing, right? It's still we still are in trouble in that situation, but we see more black, right? We see yeah, yeah, yeah. we see a prosecutor maybe black. We might see this person judge might be black. It, you know, it, it works sometimes. In you the have your own. You would have to have your own system. Period. But, you see? I tell you this though. That's where we have a challenge at. You know, but what I, mean? I, I I doubt that though, but because mind you, a lot of black people will live, live in these neighborhoods and these bad communities, but. Like if they had the they had the power to do something like do they really want to do about it? Them shits won't be like that. You right, bro. But see now if you get segregation. They, go, they might have that. And like you know what? Now you could do something about it. Like you ain't gotta have no bio on this. Like you know what? Y'all ain't selling drugs right here now. Like or yeah. now y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna game bang right here. Like none of that right here no more. Like yeah, like, and that's a lot of like and that's another misconception. Like people think that uh, with the whole the black on black crime thing, that that shit really gets on my nerves, bro. Like yeah, I like, can't. Stand when people take the the stance of of uh like because it's crime on crime. It's like like man. like 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 when the cops be like yeah yeah you know it's it's messed up with with, with the cops doing and all that. Like, but we gotta have that same energy when it comes to 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 little boo boo and Jamal down the street. Like I I get that I I get mm-hmm. that. Like we should be like we should be in an uproar when when somebody gets killed when it's not it's not non police related. Like yeah yeah. But it's a big difference. Like it's it a is. big difference here. Like these people are going, are being hunted. Like they're going to jail mm-hmm. for this. Like, right, right. Mm-hmm. You feel this is a big difference. Like mm-hmm. without half of the evidence that we have when we see the police door. Exactly. 
without half of the evidence. Like you don't even need to be on camera. All it takes is I say, yo, y'all seen Sash shoot that man. They gonna come lock you up. Yep. Yeah, you ain't yeah. got to You ain't even got to say you seen you. Like keep it honey. I got locked up for them niggas saying we had a wave cap in the car. They said the dude that robbed them had a wave cap in the car. Hmm. How many I'm motherfuckers like, got fuck? wave caps in their car? Bro, this bone, Especially like, at that time. Wave cap. It's like two thousand five. That's, like, that's, 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 that's wave cap you know? ever. Everybody had a wave cap. In the car. Ever. Everybody kept the wave cap to fit it on top. Like you feel me? That was that was hot back then. Like you feel, you me? feel me? Like so like. My thing is like, yo, these people are going to jail for it. This, that's a big difference. They're getting, they hold account. They're getting, they're hold getting accountable. held accountable. Right. It's right. unlike the police officers from that the statistic I told you. What they said: ninety nine percent of the killings by police from two thousand thirteen to two thousand nineteen have not resulted in officers being charged with the crime. Ninety nine percent. You know where that one percent comes from? When they somehow I don't know, because I seen the article where they. Actually, they, they compared Breonna Taylor to this other lady. It was a white lady who got killed by the police. and In Minnesota? Yeah. And the cop was in jail, though, right? Yeah, the yeah. cop, you know, yeah. he got he got like 13 and a half years, yeah. and the family got $20 million settlement. Mm. Breonna Taylor, you know what I mean? The cop gets no, 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 no charges at all. They give her $12 million. So it's not really illegal to kill a black person, bro. I'm yeah, I know. What I know. It's, it's like 350 human beings. So it's like you, it's like you... You only two fifths responsible for the killing, yeah. like you feel me. So you might lose your job and shit. And I mean, but see, that, that, that's why that's why certain that's why the people who the the white people in this country can celebrate things like Fourth of July and stuff like that proudly. This is that that's a victory for them. Yeah, but, yeah. What I mean, like if you really think about, it, that's a victory for them <clears throat> in this country with, with what they was able to do mm -hmm. and all that shit. Whether you disagree with it or not. I don't see how we sit there and actually can celebrate something like that. No, I, I think, don't understand it. I think th <clears throat> this is the time for solutions. I think as each individual of color of, of a black person needs to like crone down on yourself, on right. your family, empower your family, empower yourself, like your immediate family, who yeah. you're living with, you know what I'm saying? And work on that and build on that. And then watch how everything, once you start doing that, everything will start folding out. You know what I mean? Because right, you, right. you raising up kings and queens, you know, little, little princes and, and princesses to be that 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 one. You know what I'm saying? And right. you're putting that energy in it. You start them at home. Exactly. I'm seeing a lot of our kind putting energy into the wrong shit. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. It's Tell the wrong it. shit. You putting Tell the energy in the wrong shit. Speaking of energy in the wrong no things at the, the wrong, work out for at the wrong time. Listen, man, Tory Lanez, right, like a day after the Breonna Taylor uh, verdict came back, he wants to drop a, he wants to, at first he put it on Instagram that 9 o'clock, I've been silent for too long, my fans, I apologize, I'm going to address this situation at 9 o'clock Pacific time, Cali time, right, which is like 12 o'clock here. Right. On the East Coast. When there was a game on? No, that's what I thought. But, you know, it's 9 o'clock there. So oh, it was 12 yeah. o'clock here. So it was actually, I'm thinking he's going to go live and, and, and speak his piece. But it was 12 o'clock, which means that's a, actually a Friday. You, you're you dropping music. You peep game? Nah, not at first. At first, okay. But you dropping music, like, because I'm like, when at 9 o'clock, I tried to look for it. And I look, I'm like, oh, it's, I'm like, oh, this nigga, what the fuck he dropping on a Friday? Is he trying to drop a song or some shit about it? But he dropped the whole album, a response album to Megan Thee Stallion. But, wait, ain't he a Canadian though, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he might not know what's going on over here, though. Like. Man, he live here, though. He live here. Oh, uh, He live here. Yo, that was just complete no class. I, I, I question how your mama raised you. But he just shot a chick, though, man. It's allegedly, you feel me? Allegedly. I, I, I just question how you was raised, brother. I'm just be honest with you. Whole moral But he's shit. saying he didn't do it. But that's how you say it? He He's saying he didn't do it. You he come, said. you promote something to get money in, in your pocket? You promote mm -hmm. something after, like, the day after the verdict? What like, if he's innocent, though? What if he really didn't do this? That still was bad class. Like, he had no, that was little boy shit, what he did. You know what I mean? But how do you defend yourself against something like that if you really if you didn't do it? Like how do you even defend yourself against that? Somebody saying they shot like you celebrities, they saying, you know what I mean, you shot a female out the I mean Come out and say you ain't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. I would have got in front of it. 
I would as right. soon as that right. shit would hit the fan. Like, like, you bugging. You like, what, up. dog? Point blank, period. He wouldn't do it. Yeah, because his, yeah. his, his, his silence definitely made him seem guilty. Like, you feel me? But and he's yeah. snapping at everybody and, uh, you know, coming at people. It's just like, it's just showing me, like, my man don't accept accountability. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, you, you pointing at everybody what they did to your reaction. What about what you did to your own he's, reaction? He's you know not. I mean? He's not. He's not reading the times right. Like he's not really like, and and he must not really be in tune, like you just said, because he's not reading the room. Yeah, that says, nigga's so probably to speak, on drugs right? and all type of shit. You don't know what that nigga on. He probably don't know what the, what's going on in the world. We burning up outside him. He probably this don't know. I'm saying it. Like, that right. was. It was just bad timing. I think the, the music should have came after. He should have been got in front of it. Did like a, a live Instagram live whatever people do to explain themselves these days, and then you could drop some music after that. Yeah, man. He's just making our generation look bad. You're he making it bad for himself. Oh, I don't yeah, know. I, I can't, but just I mean, all these all these people that's making crazy moves, man. They are part of our generation, and, and it got the older heads right looking at us like. Y'all motherfuckers crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas. Yeah, nah, you're right. You're right. Y'all, it, do, y'all, it, it, it do reflect to people who, who who don't know us, who don't know the difference between, you know what I mean? They just look at him and probably think all young dudes is wild like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Shit is crazy, man. Tory Lanez, you should have got in front of that. You should never drop no music, man. What the hell is wrong with you, you're bro? Clown, man. You got definitely clown for that one. This nigga talking about. Then in, in the songs, he actually, you know what I mean, saying like regular shit in the songs. Like, yeah. That's yeah. the shit that killed me. Yeah. I'm like, are you actually rapping about like regular shit, like with this? Like, oh, this guy's. And not empathetic. Bold, man. He ain't empathetic. My man is not showing no compassion. He's telling he want to get back with her, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She a nice looking lady. I, I want to get with, back with her, too. Yeah, I mean. Pretty sure. He, damn, if he did that, he like, he's a clown, man. Now, yeah, now, now, now not, reports yeah. came out that I don't know how true this is, but I heard they. I think TMZ reported that uh, he, he that when he pointed the gun out, when he told her to dance, bitch. Yeah. And then and start shooting. <laughs> yeah, like, where did that come that's out? Not like, funny. Where did that <laughs> come from, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not funny, but uh, I don't know. Like, he was watching too much Harlem Nights or something. Like, I don't know. Like, that nigga won't like that shit, though, man. Somebody did that to his ass. You feel me? Talking about dance. Yeah, hey, you got a daughter. Like that's another thing, man. Like, oh, that's some good fella shit right there. Well, yeah. no, that's another thing, man. You gotta treat people, especially if you got kids. You gotta understand. Like I was at the dinner yesterday, like a little brunch and shit. And one of the people mm. I was with was giving the waiter a little bit of a hard time on the salad and shit. I'm like, bro, I really wouldn't do that if I was you. Cause you don't know what type of people these people is you that's bringing your food out and shit. Like you don't want to be too abrasive with waiters who dealing with something you about to ingest into your body. Like, <laughs> like right. I don't do that at restaurants. Like yeah, I don't I don't right. get disrespectful to the waiters and shit. Like cause you might got a, a a burger with the ketchup. Like who's to tell you, who's to say he can't mix a, a loogie in with the ketchup? You'll never know. Never know. Oh, man. Never know. You feel what I'm saying? You all disrespectful to the waiters and all that. Like, Drop the bun on the floor. Remember uh, casino and shit when uh, the cops came to my man's restaurant, the mob niggas restaurant? He's like, yeah. man, he's fucking pit. He spit on nigga sandwich, yeah. wrapped it up. He said, have a good day again. Yeah. That's what yeah. funny as hell. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. saying. <laughs> but see, and it, and it, it's funny you say that because it was cops who, uh, it was some cops would be on Instagram right after the George Floyd thing, and she was scared to get food from McDonald's. I guess she was just paranoid. That's that was just the guilt of I guess being just a cop at that time. Mm-hmm. You feel me? She she didn't even want to get food from the drive-through. She was paranoid just because she was in a police uniform that somebody was gonna dislike her that much to do something to her food yeah, and shit like that. See, police got uh police got power and shit. But people, like, they got to remember, they got to be amongst the people, too, man. You can't mm-hmm. make the people hate you too much. Like, you got to go get a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Nah, you right. You got to go, I mean, you got to shop. You got to, like, you got to do shit like that. You got to walk You got to walk in these people's houses when somebody call you for a domestic call. Like, you don't know what that motherfucker waiting for you to do something to you or not. Nah, you right. You right. You like, you, a cop's really vulnerable as hell, like, though, like, though. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And that's why in Louisville, um, right now, they, they saying it's a spike in um, cops retiring, quitting. Like they getting out the way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and I bet you, if you look at the numbers, it's probably a spike throughout the whole country. You know what I mean? People just quitting, like, yeah, I can't take this. This is emotionally draining. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, shit. If I was, if I was a cop in the city like that, 
that 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 just going through some national news cycle like that and just being have the spotlight on us, especially if I'm like a veteran and I'm close to retirement, I'm out of there, bro. I'm not about to get caught up in all that. Especially right. if you a cop, if you if you never really did nothing wrong, you just you know what I mean wrote tickets your whole career and did what you had to do. I'm not being involved in that. I'm getting I'm getting away from right. that. Like, but see that's the problem. These them cops need to start uh, speaking up a little bit more. Like they gonna look at they gonna look at it like a, like somebody telling them gang secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cops like don't. Yeah, yeah, cops don't. Like if you really want to, if you really want to <laughs> know the inside, the ins and out of, of of cops and how they how they operate, especially detectives. Uh, shout out to Queens Flip. You know he got an interview with, with one of the hip hop cops. You seen that? One? Yeah, Derek Derek um, Parker. I think Derek yeah. Parker. Yeah, yeah. y'all go check that one out. You know what I mean? I fucks with uh, Queens Flip, so I ain't got no problem promoting. <laughs> That nigga crazy, man. This morning I had to buy, I blocked him, man, for about three days. Man, I ain't fucking with Flip right now, man. You ain't fucking with Flip. But man, he did, did some D'Angelo, how does it feel type shit, man. He was, he's, man, it's done, man. Oh, you on Instagram? Yeah, I don't fuck. Like, see, I don't fuck with him on Instagram because he man, man, different, uh, though, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, he, 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 he do weird he shit on Instagram. Waxing his pubic hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't fuck with him bro. on Instagram because he do, he do weird shit on Instagram, but. Mm. As far as his, his podcast with the with the interviews, I fuck with that. Like, yeah, he funny as hell. But uh, yeah, he he give you all types of ins and outs on the on the Biggie shit. Like mm-hmm. he 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 basically said, uh, Suge Knight put the hit on Biggie Smalls to get killed. Uh huh. And the way he put it, like, it kind of makes sense. Like, not saying nah, this is. Oh, totally allegedly. allegedly. Yeah. I'm not saying Suge Knight, like, man. Yeah. Like I, Lord, Suge needs another case right now. Like he needs another case, another lose another sense, man. Yeah, no, I'm not yeah. saying. Yeah. You I mean. feel me? This, this is this is his words. You feel me? Because of, because of the uh, because of the alliance that Bad Boy had with the South Side and Compton, they took that as the only way they could really get back at them type of thing. Like. Mm-hmm. Like he took, see that that's that's, that's what happens when you affiliate. Though, you don't think so? Hell no, bro. The only way I get back at this Southside Crip gang is to hurt this, this Brooklyn rapper because he felt like he was affili- They was affiliated with uh, the Southside Crips. Yeah, they paid like, supposedly. Supposedly, P Diddy paid them for protection in Cali. Mm-hmm. So when they was at the party in Cali after Tupac died, supposedly they, they, this was Biggie's security detail. The South Side. And you even got a South Side Crip. Um, he said that. He actually voiced I forgot his name, Matt something. Uh, he was like an OG out there. He's, you know, he he actually said it. He uh, said, Keefy D? Yeah, yeah, Keefy D. Keefy D told, though, man. He definitely yeah, did. His, his, yeah. his credibility yeah. is yeah. done. And then, yeah, yeah. Then, then he got his book. He up there lying. Talking about he lied about certain shit in his book. Talking about delivery. You're going to have a delivery man to come to the sugar house. He's talking about he lied about that shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, Keefy like, D, D credibility. Shoot, man. Go ahead, bro. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. His credibility is definitely shot. But you know what it sounds like to me? The government let him tell his, that bullshit version. He get out of jail. And you uh, we, the government all the hook for killing Pac and shit like that. Like, bro. Yeah. That's what I think happened. Like, you feel me? Mm-mm. But, uh, but, you know, like, going back to the shit with the affiliation shit, I, I do agree with that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When you do have that affiliation, you know, you got the positive side behind it, but you also do got the negative side behind it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that comes with anything. When you affiliate yourself with certain things, like you got to be ready for what, like whatever come with that. Like, look at Fiez on Love. He talking about Davies. He was just talking about uh, Fiez on Love. He's the yeah, comedian. Yeah, yeah. He was talking. Yeah. About, he was he yeah. was going in on Davies. Like, oh, cause he be out there. Allegedly, him. he was saying like Davies is is really not like crip. Like he was just saying that he got. A stamp from this dude. I, I don't know his name, or whatever, but he was saying he got a stamp just cause of uh, Nip. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, uh, nah, see, and, I, and it's I just think, like I think he out of touch with what's going on. Cause if you, I think if so you look, too. I think was, so too. He he was he was like uh, Davies Tell tells the story anyway. Like when he pulled up on Nip, he was with some dudes that Nip actually grew up with. Uh huh. Uh huh. That they didn't even know that they knew each other. I think it sounds some hate and shit. It's yeah, it's it's that, he he seemed like a, I don't know. That was my man, Big Run. I fuck with Big Run, but he seemed like a little. That's hater, he hater, that's a character you know? in the movie, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah definitely a character. Yeah. I love. I mean, he's talking about he pulled out a gun person, on Cat Williams and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was talking about Cat. Yeah, he got a lot of hate with him, man. He got a lot of hate. Nah, yeah. Cat got their whole history. Them niggas like they pulled out guns on Cat and pulled out straps on, on your man and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He pulled out a strap on somebody else too. Yeah. I think they said Cat, Williams, uh, Cat, Cat walking around gangster gangster when he put that Cat Williams on, man. 
Fuck some Cat Williams. <laughs> somebody we don't fuck with in the culture no more. Well, somebody all his friends don't fuck. We talked about it last week, but right after we talked about it, Vladimir, like, some new shit happened. Your boy man. Vlad. Oh, mm. we be speaking things in existence, man. Yeah. Manifestation. See, right. when we we did that last week, I think we recorded last Sunday, right? All right. Now, Monday morning, I lost all hope for, for my son. Now, mm. I didn't know that he put out the Instagram video that he put out. So for like eight hours, I was in my head. I'm like, I lost hope for my son, bro. But mm. six of that was unwarranted because he put out a video. I just didn't see it. Mm. Now, uh, he basically denounced his friendship and all that with Vlad. I didn't think yeah. he would do it. I didn't think he would do that. Yeah, that, that's that. I think that's honorable. Like, I think you know, what I mean, it took a little. He waited kind of for other dudes to jump in the pool and see how it worked out for them first. But n- nevertheless, he did it. Like, like, do y'all mm-hmm. think dudes is gonna go up on like still go up on Vlad? Like, what do you yeah, think but, dudes gonna follow that follow that code that like guys like Royce and and Mike Sean set? Right. He um. Uh, I'm gonna say this though, like. More so, they got they have more of a personal relationship than people. Other people, it be business for them important more than personal. Like, yeah, mm. you get what I'm saying. Like, so uh, I think I, I'm not going to say I won't even look at a person doing that. Up and coming rapper, you get a chance to go with Vlash. It might help you. I'm not even going to look at you funny and shit. But, but, but t- truth be told, though, anybody that's on Vlad, you only on Vlad if you already accomplished something in somewhere else like that. Like, you really don't need Vlad, like though. Yeah. Like you, you never seen you never seen Vlad somebody a new independent artist up there, you never seen before up there on Vlad. Like is it, they're already doing something number somewhere else, or they doing something dope somewhere else, and yeah. Vlad bring him up there to talk about what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I, I might not know who they is personally, yeah, but that but they, don't they mean already, they not yeah. yeah. They already wrote wrote songs, did songs, wrote songs with Michael yeah. Jackson and some shit yeah. like that. Like, yeah, word they, up. like it'd be some crazy shit like that. That's what he do, like he interview people that you don't even think about, like So go back to that question. Is he a coach or coach? Yeah, yeah he's definitely fact. opportunity. That's a fact. Got got probably got connections through his like his like his like I mean like I'm being Jewish and shit through the record labels through artists and be at certain staff meetings and certain industry parties and shit like that. He would bump oh hell, hell well, let me get an interview oh I mean just, yeah you people, me? but see people use that like it's sort of like the it's sort of like the Grammys and the, and the versus the BET Awards like yeah. we hold we hold the Grammys at such a high standard that that we we actually give it value yeah uh, you yeah. feel me because it's nothing but a it's nothing but a trophy in the title. Right. But we give it so much value because of the way we look at it versus the way we look at our own awards from our own people. Our own people celebrating us. And we look at that as a lesser award. Yep. Which yeah. really don't even make sense to don't me. Don't even attend it sometimes. That's like, why the Soul Train Awards fell off. Word up. Like me uh. personally, like shit. Listen, give me a BT award for, for whatever. I cherish it. Cause right. I look at that, me personally, I'm, I'm I want to set a president. You look at stuff like that higher than you would look at a Grammy. Even though when you win a Grammy, I get it. They always announce that whenever your name, whenever you announce the Grammy winning artist, such and such. Yeah. You feel me? They always attach that to your name, which can lead you to more money and shit like that. Endorsements, I get it. But we got to start holding our own awards for our own people and our own culture to a higher standard. Yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? The same way we gotta hold the, our media to a higher standard and start valuing going on shit, whatever show you feel me, whatever show that that's our media that's in the culture, you feel me? And then you start looking at. It. I'm not saying you can't go on Vlad TVs or or, or none of the other shows, but just you know what I mean hold 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 the hold this side a little higher that's all i'm saying yeah, you yeah. feel me it's self love you know yeah, what i'm saying exactly exactly like i don't see why you would look at just look at vlad as a as oh my god i made it type of thing like like this is the top of the line you know what i mean like mm-hmm. the creme de la creme of interviews type of thing like right like, yeah, you, like, right. he, you know how bad he been trying to get like Chief Keef, Lil Reese, and all them. Them niggas don't fuck with Vlad, cause Vlad be like on bullshit. Like, yeah, he asks you some weird questions. Like then, like Chief Keef get up there, like who, who benefit? Do Chief Keef need Vlad to get um, a million views? No. no. Mm-hmm. You can't buy all them. Niggas, like he would love to get. That's helping Vlad. That's not helping. Them. That's why you think he get Boosie so much shit. Boosie don't need Vlad to get no views. Yeah, keep it under with you. Boosie yeah. popping without none of that. Like you don't gotta go on Vlad. That's why Vlad want to talk to him because of Boosie who he is. Boosie trying to get his Instagram back. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Oh, that's why he been saying bro back on this. Yeah, shit. man, give him his Instagram yeah, back, man. man. Give Boosie his Instagram. He was turned on that, man. He said, man, that guy's a wild boy. It's funny, man. man. I ain't know he was that. Like I ain't know he had a much of a big personality. 
mm-hmm. until recently. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Boosie hilarious, man. Like, yeah, he's, he's hilarious. hilarious he's, he's a funny guy. Hilarious, bro. It's the way you talk that make like a lot of shit funny. Shit like yeah, that. It's the way you talk that make a lot of shit I funny. I did a lot of jail bids and shit like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, yo, <laughs> let's go over to, to the sports world. Man. Oh, yeah. Lakers. Lakers. Ah. Got the Bron, LA, Bron, LA, LA Lakers. You can, see this, you can see this tag on my hat right here. This little tag. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's a Lakers tag, by the way. Lakers hat. Lakers, man. Mm-hmm. I'm well, not a Lakers fan though. LeBron had nah, what? Bron, what, Bron, what LeBron had? 36. Man. What? Triple double? What's Nightingale number, triple man? Double. What's Nightingale number? Give me Nightingale number, man. You gonna call number. Nightingale? Yeah, call your man. Uh, let's yeah, see. Let's see a few Nightingale pick yeah, up. Yeah, call, call your man because he, he, I ain't heard from him since, since Kawhi got out of the playoffs, man. Oh, so he he was going ducking for uh, yeah, he was ducking wreck. Call your man, please call him, please, <laughs> yo. We gotta get somebody he talking about LeBron scared of Kawhi and all oh, this. Oh man, you said he, that? Come on, we gotta get him on the line. Kawhi oh. got him mentally and all this. I want to hear this. Call my man. Like, yeah, call. He got an iPhone now, too. I oh, should FaceTime him. Yeah. Nah, man. LeBron, is a, he's a beast, man. Yeah, he's shout out to LeBron, man. Shout out to AD. Shout out to... Uh, they be balling, man. Yeah, you think Miami going to... You think Miami going to uh, gonna advance and, and face the Lakers? Yes, sir. LeBron I'm like this. I'm team. like this, man, because them... Oh, oh, yeah, we got somebody we got on. Few night, yeah. Yo, man, we live on air right now, man. Queasy wanted to talk to you about yeah. about the Lakers and, 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 and the Clippers <laughs> and what's going on, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me put them on. Yeah, what, make make good, sure you hear the microphone so they can hear. Hey, stop it. All right. Man, I'm saying, what's up, man? I ain't heard from you since the Clippers went home, man. I thought you was in Cancun with yeah. them, man. That's fucked up the way y'all just did this, though, man. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm saying, bro, I'm going to try to call you. I'm like, damn, bro, call me. You been out the way. I'm talking about something totally different. I'm like, I'm not this shit again. <laughs> man, I'm hey, just hey, saying, man. How you man. feel about the Lakers? How, hey, you, yeah. how you feel about the Lakers? How you feel about LeBron, his defense, all that shit? Now you got somebody don't play no defense. I, I think Jamal Murray shot everybody else down except LeBron. LeBron and his defense? Man, that shit was all a setup, man. Nah, man. That shit was a setup. It was a setup. This is the guy. From, yeah, from this, <laughs> this is the guy who thinks that Jason Kidd is a better basketball player than LeBron James. No, oh, that's shit. That's a bold statement. Just leave, leave, leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. Man. I, I just want him to. I just want him to put some respect on LeBron name this morning. No, I'm, I'm saying, man. Why don't y'all put some respect on Kid name? He, them niggas beat him. Like, why y'all keep having to argue about this shit? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We gonna leave Jason Kidd alone, man. I, I want to hey, talk about Paul George. Fuck Paul George. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, I'm talking about you really tight right now because not only did LeBron, the Clippers go home early, but LeBron sent your, your Rockets home in 5-2. Fuck James Harden, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> trade him then. Trade him. Send him to, the, send him to Detroit. Hey, we'll take him. Hey, yo, my nigga, keep it real, though, my nigga. Listen. That isolation ball shit don't work in the playoffs, my nigga. No, no, now it don't, don't work. Now, now it work. don't yeah, work. Yeah, it never did. Now it don't work. You know what I'm Kobe, saying, Kobe man? told James Harden that shit, God bless his soul, before he died, he said, man, that shit not going to work for championship ball. Nah, said, it's not, though. No, nah, man. So, I, man, I don't, man, I ain't even watch none of their fucking games. Like, I knew the Lakers was going to beat them niggas. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you, that, that <laughs> shit, but... That's the you, best team in NBA history. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, man. Look, Le- look. Long as LeBron there, man, you ain't gotta worry about the Rockets getting another ring, man. So you just let that shit go. Just, just watch basketball, but don't, don't, don't look for no rings, man. You gonna love it still, man. I got something to say though, but who y'all teams again? I'm a Pistons fan. I'm a Sixers. I'm a Sixers. Yeah, we on. Sixers fan. Sixers fan. Shout out to Blake Griffin though, man. Yeah, yeah, Blake. Yeah, Blake. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's all we got. I mean, hey, yo, yo, uh, yo, when did Philly get out of the playoffs, though? Shit, listen, listen, out, listen, listen, shit. listen, we go, we, uh, yo, really? yo, listen, we gonna uh, call you back, man. Yeah, appreciate uh, you, man. <laughs> yo, yo, we, 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 we appreciate you picking up the call. We, we, we call you back, though. So, what y'all, what y'all doing? Doing the show? Yeah, we doing the show now. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, yeah. Man, yeah. I, I don't know why y'all ain't give me on video, man. Man, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Pick it up. Pick up. He the, said, "I got a shape up." Pick up your face I got the shape up. Check him out. Pick up your face up. Pick up the face up. He said, "I got the shape up, bro." He ain't gonna pick it up. Yo, but did you know? Um, for closing situations, LeBron is sixteen out of seventeen. Look at this nigga. Look. <laughs> Look. Look at this nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can y'all see this nigga? Right. Hey, yo, why the blue lights? Yo, right. 
light skinned nigga in there. I'll give y'all that, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I mean? What up, man? Light skinned yeah. fella. Yeah, man. Hey, yo, hey, yo, man. Listen, man. Hey, yo, man. Listen, you got to come back to the show one day, man. Come kick it with us, man. But you can't, you, yo, you can't be up here talking about Don't LeBron come up here with the Clippers jersey. Yeah, yeah, don't come up here with the Clippers jersey. Don't leave that shit at home. No Kawhi, nothing, man. Hey, yo, listen, I, I talked to y'all two weeks after the championship died out. Yeah, don't, the don't even talk to nobody right? with no braids in here that day. Hey, yo, why <laughs> you in the doctor's office with no shirt on? Nigga, that's my room ceiling, nigga. <laughs> 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 Yo, he, got, he got a doctor's office light on his room ceiling. <laughs> 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 got the light. Look at his light. He got the whole yeah, panel. That's the new, uh, he got the new apartment building. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Yeah. 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 Background like y'all doing the video and shit. Like, uh, right. shit. Oh, All right, yo, listen, man. We gonna oh, holler at you later, man. We gotta get back to the show, man. We yeah. just wanna hear the bullshit you got to say. Yo, but y'all ain't talking about nothing. Ain't shit going on. All right, shit just on fire, but I got my yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. shit burning, falling. Yeah. People get killed. Yeah, the world is only on fire. There ain't nothing happening. The world is only on fire. But yo, right, let's, let's, speak, out, let's speak about uh, me, my boy, yeah, LeBron man. mentality. I was just telling him LeBron is 16 out of 17 for closing moments in the playoffs, like as far as that. Like, you know what I mean? He's 16 out of 17 in close game situations. He closed the shit out. So what does that speak for his mentality? Like, uh, I think what speaks even more for his mentality is that he's in his seventeenth year doing this. Like, yeah, yeah. Last year was his only year not even in the playoffs, mm-hmm. right? Correct. Uh, like, yeah. If you watched it last night, you seen my man Javale McGee walk right behind LeBron's did like this, man. Like, like crown my man. Like, yeah, man. You feel Yo. me, King, man. You feel me. I, I don't see how, like, I right, Jordan, we all know Jordan was undefeated in the, in the, in the um, finals, right? Yeah. Won six rings, two three-peats, one of the most influential. In 13 seasons, right? One yeah. of the most influential, greatest basketball players to ever live, especially with especially what he's doing now with the sneakers and all that. Like, I'm pretty sure all three of us probably got on Jordans right now without yeah. even me looking. Yeah. And, um... Like, but LeBron, man, what he's able to been doing, how he's able to been playing at such a high level for so long, it's just amazing, man. I never seen nothing like it. Like, look at all the people who came in with him. Everybody's on the Dwayne Wade is gone. Melo's on the down slope. I think then probably the only three still from 2003. Who probably still who's still in the league from 2003 that got drafted? Probably not a lot. Um, no, it's not probably not a lot. I'm gonna look, nah. look that up, yeah, but it's, it's not a lot of people. Mello, Mello, Chris Paul, LeBron, Chris, Chris Paul. Paul was in that. He Chris Paul was two. Paul no, he, like no, he, no, he was two down three. He was. Yeah, he went from Wake Forest. He came from Wake Forest. But he's yeah. still, he's still actually doing, doing yeah. pretty good. Chris Paul was uh, two down three. Uh, he yeah. he yeah. actually yeah. still doing pretty good. But see, his his Chris his, his game his game don't don't he don't need to be like super athletic and dunking and all that shit. So, but it also speaks justice because he only what six foot six one. He a little guy and he be going in holes. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a beating right there to keep going. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta take care of your body, man. I think it's a that shit is crazy, man. How he's able to play at such a level at for so long. It's just yeah. Like I don't. And you know what stands out to me that LeBron does that different than like a lot of players that I seen. Um, off the court, like his off the court presence is something crazy. Like how he uh executively directed that uh, shut up and sh- uh, dribble documentary. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, that barbershop stuff that he puts together. Um, you know, developing his own school. Like the certain things that he's doing. Like it is this dope? It's phenomenal, bro. Like I, you know, I ain't really see too many people that doing that. You know what I mean? At his level, at 17 years, you know what I mean, playing in the league. Nah, yeah, you're right. Like some people would say that uh, that Michael Jordan did things as well, but it just wasn't, it publicized. just wasn't publicized because we didn't have uh, social media and things like that at that time. Yeah. But mm-hmm. uh, but with LeBron doing is is something that he don't have to do at all. You feel me? Like he, yeah. he could be he could be selfish and just and him playing basketball is enough. It's good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Him playing basketball is actually. It's enough for us. Like he's an athlete. That's all he's really supposed to be doing. Yeah. yeah. As far as what an athlete does. But he's he's went so far beyond that. It's like yeah. I don't I don't see nobody really surpassing him for a long time. I mean, the guy's probably not even born yet. Yeah. yeah. That's what I believe. I believe whoever's gonna surpass LeBron James the way 
LeBron has surpassed Michael Jordan in some ways. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a layover like how Kobe was in the middle of LeBron and Jordan. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. think it's gonna be. I think he's the, the guy who's gonna surpass LeBron James. Probably not even born yet. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know, it's man. Cause the NBA, this, man, it's the that, NBA. That's the, that shit. They find, they find a, a, oh, yeah, a, a, right. a crown they jewel, do. man. They that's what I'm like. Oh, it's a kid in Detroit in Moan Bates, man. Check him out. Look at, I mean, like, Bates. Man, Steph Curry, a once in a lifetime player. Like you, you never really see a partner that might shoot like him. Like damn, Lillard can shoot, but not like Steph though. Like, but Steph look at Trey Young. Look at Trey Young now. Right, right. But I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? What right, I actually right. meant was not somebody like skill wise. Somebody as as dominant and going to many as many finals back. Back and carrying a whole conference, a whole yeah, East be, thing. be that healthy that whole time through your career. Yeah, like, not yeah, like yeah. not get injured for, yeah. for decades. Yeah, and type wanna, shit wanna, like uh, that. Like, I mean, I mean, uh, it's kind of uh, like a bionic <laughs> man and some shit like that. Like, <laughs> you motherfucker, kind of not even human, but like yeah. that shit is crazy, man. But um, yeah, we gonna th- get into like safety nets. Like you know this? Who who knows? You know what a safety net in life is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, safety what I mean? nets. It could be like your parents, your grandparents. It could be a, a, a aunt, a girlfriend. It could even be the government. The government. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It could be the government. Like I see so many people, you know, who uh, who rely on safety nets the wrong way. You know, they uh, they they have a grandmother or something. They had a house. Or they stay with their moms all the way to they about thirty five and all this shit. Like that's the wrong that's the wrong thing to do. Cause what happens is sometimes, well not sometimes, all the time your parents is not gonna just be there forever. Forever, yeah. And grandparents is for sure not gonna be there forever. So you don't want to wait until something happens tragically, and you just gotta pick up and go on your own without no type of. Uh, know how you yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you want to use that time where you got, yeah. where, where you got the rent free room. You want right. to use that time to actually practice living life. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? That way, when yeah. something does happen, you able to, you able to uh be out there on your own and shit like that. Yeah, and you know, <clears throat> don't be afraid of the process too. You know what I'm saying? Like when you in that safety net, and then process is going through the challenges to get on your own, right? Cause that's that's what it is, you know what I mean. I got a story for even for myself. Like years ago, before I moved to my own spot, it was me, my girl, and my son in my my mother's house in one room. Yeah, we was living there. It was hell, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. One Man. room, like with a little two year old. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just trying I, to, I did it. I did that. Trying, shit, trying to survive, you, you know. And I did that same. But thing. now I look back at it. I, you know, I, the, what got me out of that was not being afraid of the challenge of the process, right? It's the process. Now, you could look at it and be like, I ain't going to get out of this, man. It's, it's just hard. But also, you could look at it like, All right, I'm going to accept this challenge and I'm going to push through. Yeah, take it one step I'm, at a time. And one step at a time. And then you get out and you get on your own. And it, it sometimes with the work that you put in, because you trust the process and trust the challenge, it'd be better. Later on, yeah, they, well, right. that's it exactly what it be. Because sometimes what can happen if you don't, if you don't take that challenge, and you don't go and and take the necessary steps to to be independent, you gonna end up being forty years old, and when something happens, you are gonna be messed up because you're not gonna know how to how how to get yourself up out of that. You are gonna be so used to being to having that that safety net that you feel me. Sometimes you got to cut that motherfucker yourself, man, and walk across that tightrope. Yep. Cause it's like yo, that shit ain't gonna burn. be there forever. Right. 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 Like, like right. even your little brother, you feel me? You be telling me about how your little brother been like super independent since a young right. age and shit like that, doing his own I thing no and shit. Like, nothing. like own apartment, nothing. Like he boy super independent. Like, where, I mean, where, like where could you I say he learned that from? Shit too, um, my mother. It's like our last three. My mother last three kids. I ain't go all kids, but our last three though. I can honestly say they all strong though, like though, like you feel me? They all know how to save money and they all know how to like maintain on their own, like without touch calling nobody, like though, you feel me? Mm. Yeah. That's the, I can that's honestly say that shit though, like though, like so. Cause and I seen I seen yeah. both sides. I seen people, you know, like certain not main people I grew up with, certain family members and stuff, you know. Like we had the house, you know, we had the house there. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I tell people I grew up in a, a non bedroom house, somebody who don't know. They probably think that damn this motherfucker was well off type shit. 
Mm. But you don't realize when you in the hood, everybody live there. Everybody, the whole family yeah. gonna live there. You yeah. got a nine bedroom mm-hmm. house. Nobody's right. moving. No, yeah. <laughs> Who's the fuck gonna move? Right. You feel me? But what happens is once that all come to an end and you 40, 50 years old, it's like now you starting a life of a you start you gotta do things that you competing with like 20 year olds now in the world. Who's actually going out and getting their first apartments and getting these these jobs and stuff like that? Now you at forty have to go compete with that. It's not easy, man. Cause it's not. it's not easy, bro. Especially when you when you haven't had to use a computer all that time. Now you got to go use computers to fill out applications and mm-hmm. and do all that wild shit. Like it's it's crazy, man. And you know, ain't nothing wrong with safety nets because safety nets actually help. Like yeah. you if know, you use them the right way. If you use them the right way, it's yeah. actually proven. Like that shit helps. Like you kind of get out of that poverty trap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You it take kinda, chances on starting businesses when you got safety nets and shit. Yeah, like that, right? it kind of yeah. helped. And then you know, as us as parents, that's what we kind of want to create for our kids, right? Hell yeah. But it's just like to. you still want to kind of give them that independent brain, right? You got to be able to think for yourself. You got, and those are the little steps that actually help them. Move from the safety mm-hmm. net as they get 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. By, by really holding on an independent brain, think for yourself, you know what I mean? Don't follow others. How we say to that, you know, it comes repeatedly. Like, don't be a follower, don't that. But that shit really helps with separating from the safety net. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you you, you want that there, like, especially if you build it for your kids and stuff like that. Like, that's good. But I'm, what I say about don't use it the wrong way, when well, you got to use it the right way, like, Yo, if you got a, a spot, you live with your, your moms or whatever, use that. Like, use that, save up your money. Yeah, still, you got to, you know what I mean? You got to kick back some shit to contribute, you know what I mean? All that. But don't go out and buy. Like, you you living, you know what I mean? Like, you in a room, bro. Like, don't be going out buying a bunch of sneakers and clothes and and all this. You feel me? You still in your, your mom's room and shit. Like, it's crazy. Like, right. Save that money up. Get out. Do what you got to do. Then you could go buy all that shit. You feel me? Yeah. yeah but yeah. With, but this why. But know what I say too with people too. Like you gotta learn not to be content too with life. Like though, cause sometimes like stability could be could be content. You could just get comfortable as hell. Like yeah. Like I swear that's the worst thing you ever could do. Like though, just being content though. Like though, like. That's that's my that's my biggest fear, like though, like when you just get a tent, you just, just get comfortable. Yeah, ain't no yeah. elevation. You just gonna go. Only nothing you could do is go down, like though. That's all gonna happen, like cause you content. Yeah, you right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. To you, you at the top of your game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's no, it's just nowhere but down. Like I never right. I never put a ceiling on on nothing I at do. All. Like nothing right. I my mind frame does don't don't have a ceiling. Like people yeah. ask me, uh, that's the scariest shit. Well, shit. Like people I ask. Have no hope. People ask me shit, you know, when I first when we first started the podcast, you know, people got doubts and shit. People ask me like, "Well, what's your plan? Like, how how long how long are you gonna do this before 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 you stop before before like you get going and shit? Like, how, like what's your time frame? I'm like, bro, everybody journey different. You don't, you, you uh, never know. You don't know what the time frame is. Like, I was right. talking to this other guy at another station, and they they run a station similar to where we had Bravery Studios, and he was like, yo. We didn't make nothing for the first eight years. Mm. But if we would have quit on on year seven and a half, we would have never been where we at now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not not right. saying it's going to take eight years for everybody. Some people might take longer. You don't right. even know. Some people might take six months. Trust the process. Rick Ross rapped for 12 years. And like, say Rick Ross had quit his, um, before he popped off. Like, say we quit on his ninth year. And nobody and nobody would have blamed him for quitting at the, at the 11 years. Yeah. Like, yo, you've been doing that for 11 years, bro. That shit ain't work, but I can't even blame you for it. You know what I mean? Like, nobody would have blamed him for that. Yeah. Same so thing for me. A, he had an easy, he could have easily quit without nobody even looking at him funny. Because yeah. nobody would have blamed you for that. But you keep going, bro. You got to keep going because nobody knows what your, what your process is. Like, and what's your cap? You know what I mean? You, nobody exactly. knows your cap. You know what I mean? Exactly, man. For real, though, man. Longevity, baby. Longevity, man. Longevity. And that's how you got to play life. Though, like, if you're not playing for the long game, yo, like, and always look at that cup half full. You man, know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you 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 might you might fall up because ch- like life is funny as hell. Life will hit you with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what I mean? So you just gotta play the long game, baby. Long game all day. Yo, uh, 
Yo, know, we gonna get into this joint before we, but we we gonna we gonna play the the artist spotlight on the end before we about to get out of here. I just got uh one more question for y'all, right? Now, when you drunk friends at a party, right? How y'all deal with people that get too drunk at parties and shit like that? Like when you go out with people, like you just don't invite them there no more. Like you don't because. Last oh, night, like, right, let me tell you a quick story. Yeah, let me get your situation going. Go I ain't going to say this person's name or nothing like that, but last night, I'm 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 fried. Everybody know, you know what I mean? Smoke my little weed and shit. I'm mm-hmm. watching the game, dozing off. Sitting in a chair, nice, comfortable, <laughs> lazy boy. I'm dozing off, feeling good, watching the Laker game. This young lady, gone, she, she's drunk, you know, she she uh she decided to, Stand about three inches from from my face and yell, uh, "Wake up, party time!" Man, yeah, that had me. That had me. That would have had me. Let me tell you, it took everything in me not to uh, react in any type of way. That was, I did not like that at all. That's ignorance at its highest level, like, right there. I did not like that at all. Like, she knew I didn't like it. Like. <laughs> Yo, like, yo, people, I, that's why, I, that's one of the reasons I don't drink, like, yo, I can't, I can't get with that shit, bro, like, all that belligerent drunk shit, like, it's just, it's super funny when you're just looking at somebody doing it, but when they a part of your party, like, you, you don't, I don't like that, like. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's all good to have fun and shit like that, but, like, yo, you gotta, like I just said, you gotta, gotta be know. be responsible. Yeah, you, but you gotta know who you having fun with, and if they, they the type of person that. That like to have that type of fun, like you feel me? Like, I know. Mm-hmm. And you can't just be doing like wild shit to wild everybody, shit. like wild shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Man. It's crazy. But like you know how you deal with that sometimes is like you said, don't even invite them. So <laughs> next time you just know that, all right, uh, well, stay at least yeah. stay yeah. away. Yeah. Like all right, like you, it, you stay over there. Like it's cool to drink and have fun because that that's what it's for. Like that's what you, Social well, that's what it should be for. That's what you're using it for. You know what I mean, casual drink and have fun and all that. But like it's the limits though. Like you feel me? You be people be wilding when it come to that liquor, boy. Yeah, they be uh, irrational, bro. <clears throat> irrational like a motherfucker. That's why they say if you if you split a football field in half, you put put a glass, put half people that's drunk, half people that's on that's just smoke weed and shit. The fights is gonna be on the side of the people that's drinking. Like yep. all the all the right. chaos gonna be on that side. Like, we gonna, you know what I mean? We're gonna be passing the blunt with each other, talk, you know what I mean? What's up, man? You know what I mean? You hungry? Yeah, Yo, you guys we gonna be that's looking what I'm for saying. food. They, they not gonna be on the field after a while. The weed smokers gonna be in the concession stands. <laughs> they gonna be trying to get some food and shit, man. Facts, yeah, facts. But um, yeah, man, yo, we're gonna get out of here, but we're gonna leave y'all. With Falcons really ass. My bad. Yo, shout out my man Paul, man. Paul, uh, he's a Falcons fan. You know, you know, Marv went to school with my man Paul. You know, they but he's a Falcons fan. Paul I'm a, needs to take that class over, man. Yeah, yeah. Paul yeah. needs to take that class. He's a Falcons shout fan. Shout out to Paul. I know Paul with the freezer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Paul. I he don't Paul he he only liked the Falcons because uh I think he seen uh Devontae Freeman or somebody was a running back. He made a good run and now he's a Falcons fan. But you stuck with a bad team. I just want you to know Definitely. that, Paul. You Definitely. stuck with a bad team. Come over to Cowboy Nation, man. You just threw a pick just now. You speak. Yeah, <laughs> Matt Ryan, man. Yeah, but before we get out of here, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. How Society subscribe. Podcast, man. We're going to leave you with a video. We're going to leave you with Trip with that letter to my daughter, man. I'm your boy, Be High. That's Sass24. That's Crazy Way. This How Society Podcast, man. And we out. You already know, man. See y'all next week. Next week. Peace. Laying in the bed and shit, smoking. Wrote this shit. All right. Mom's in the kitchen, you know. Every day I let you know that you beyond special. You daddy's little blessing, so I'm always to your rescue. Can't wait to get the call when your mom's going through labor. I'll probably be working, but you know I'ma make it. This thing we call life is a maze, but you could take it. Hope you smart like your dad. Observe and have patience. I know you too young to even get what I'm saying, but all I'm really saying is Nova Malo Angel, my firstborn, so to your mom's forever thankful. Told her I'ma help raise you, went half on the baby. 
A lot of complications through my past situation. Everybody stressing me, asking me what I'm gonna name you. As long as you good, I'm good. Never neglect you. Can't see me walking out on such an innocent blessing. I be stressing now in days. It be hard to crack a smile, but I know it's gonna change once I see you running round. Put it back, sit down, keep your fingers out your mouth. Barbie dresses with the shoes, cross your legs on the couch. No more arguing with your moms, can't do that in the house. I know you hear it, I don't want you near it. This a letter to my daughter, and I wrote in the spirit. Just know I'ma never judge you, stand on your pivot. Rush your home straight from work to your hugs and kisses. Take a shower with your mom, hold up, take this picture, hold up, hold up.